Alexa, lights on. It's 5 a.m. The video I just posted um, for this is going live today at 8.30. I've got a long day ahead. Goods. Got the real goods. The real reason we went on this trip. Please hold on. Thank you. I like that. Thank you. What's your name, man? Josh. Josh, we got a fellow Sony user, A73. Here to film a cool interview. Good shoot day. tell you why your videos suck okay that's probably a little harsh your videos probably don't suck they're probably pretty good but let's talk about how we can make them better I hope you're okay with me saying that they suck because you got to play the YouTube game a little bit got that good thumbnail but hey you're here so let's talk about how we make your video better I hope you guys enjoyed the, the travel footage we just got back from DC last night at 1 a.m. Let let's let's take a few steps back let me tell you why I was even in DC we'll, we'll get to that in a second but so I work for a company, Good Story Films, and we got contracted out by this real estate group to make a video of this property that they're trying to sell. And, you know, the easy route would have been to take a gimbal, walk through the house, get some cool shots, let the home speaks for itself. And, you know, that would have been great and all, but this home was a little bit different. And so we didn't want to do the bare minimum. It was made by a famous architect, Hugh Jacobson. Maybe you've heard of him, maybe you haven't. He, he's a pretty well, pretty well-known architect you know that I th we, we learned yesterday his clients like their privacy and so I won't go into some of his clients but really really just spectacular architect and learning more about his process of making a home was it was really really cool and so I found out that this home was made by him and I started doing a little bit of research Hugh recently passed away and this home was actually a pretty big deal um, it was the only home that was never photographed in any capacity and it just released to the public after the homeowner's death and shortly after his death. So I found out that his son's name is Simon and is still doing a lot of the same stuff that Hugh was doing and Hugh was doing. And so I, I found out their Instagram and sent a DM on there and uh, then later found out on the website Simon's email was there. So I, I reached out to Simon and I said, hey, this is a long shot, but we're making a video on the property. We would love to just pick your brain and hear about your involvement was, uh, that your dad did on this property. So he gets back to me in 10 minutes and I, I was shocked how quickly he did. He said, yeah, I'd love to have a phone call. So I set up a phone call. This is Simon. Hey Simon, this is Blake. Hey Blake, how you doing? I'm so sorry for the trouble. We're learning about the property and you know, I didn't want to do the bare minimum, even on that phone call. So at the very end of that call, I said, here as a, a filmmaker, we kind of like to dream and, you know, think the greatest thing possible and work backwards, kind of like what you've been saying of how do we make that happen. And we've just kind of had the idea. I mean, just emailing you was just a step in the right direction. I mean, if we were to fly to that general area, would you be open for something similar to this, but on camera? And he was like, sure, just just let me know. And so, so we got some tickets to DC and that's where the story picks back up. I hope you can forgive me. I would have loved to have filmed this part in front of the Lincoln Memorial, but we were running late on time. And with the Lincoln Memorial being such an iconic area of DC, I figured, well, I'll go to an iconic area of Chattanooga. And uh, we got the 
the aquarium behind me, the walking bridge, just some iconic areas of Chattanooga. Hope you can forgive me. Hope it does the trick. All right, come with me. We're gonna go to the next spot. We're gonna talk about doing the bare maximum. So let's talk about doing the bare maximum. Also, you like my little mic setup that I just very clearly don't have pinned to me as a lavalier mic, but just wanted, anyways. Let's talk about doing the bare maximum. So the bare maximum, as I like to say, is taking an idea, taking a, a concept, and taking it through a refining process uh, two or three, four, however many times. But whatever your original idea is, your, your um, initial idea, you don't ever stop there. That's doing the bare minimum. It could be a really great idea, but you don't stop there. You gotta start dreaming bigger, how you can you know, make this a better product. And you know, spend some time. I like to kind of think about my idea, put on some white noise, some headphones, and really think about the video, envision where it's gonna go. And then I think, how can I make this better? And you'd be surprised when you start thinking about the video, these random crazy ideas that come into your mind. Doing the bare maximum is kind of entertaining those ideas. You don't just let them sit there and keep moving on. And not every idea is feasible for your telling your story, but your mind jumped there for a reason. So just like we could have just done this real estate video where we didn't do much, um, we just took a gimbal through, we wanted to touch on the history piece of the home. It's, it's an important home, it's a historical home. Um, there's a lot of story behind it if you start to dig it up. And that led to us getting a flight to DC to interview the son of the architect who had a minor part in it even to just learn as much details as we can about it. We didn't stop there. We're, uh, tomorrow we're filming some lifestyle type shoot of the home and including models and act as if they were living there and just showing what the home could feel like if you were to live there. And we've got this cool idea with using a piano and um, transitioning between these three different piano scenes as Simon's talking about the home. It's, it sounds up in the air and crazy when I talk about it right now, but um, we're dreaming big, as should you with your video. All right, we're gonna go to one more spot. Stay with me. All right, so like I was saying, you're, you're gonna have these ideas that come to your head when you're really trying to go through this revision process, you know, on the third or fourth time, you're gonna have these crazy ideas. To put emphasis on the crazy word, um, some of them aren't gonna seem feasible or you, there's just no way you can pull it off. And to that, I say shoot your shot. You never know what's possible just by reaching out. My email to Simon took 10 minutes to get back with about, um, you know, then we had a phone call, dream big, dream big and shoot your shot. So if you're working on a video, do not just do the bare minimum. Think about how you can do the bare maximum. Make your videos better. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed the little traveling tour I took you on as we went around this iconic area of Chattanooga. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, got something out of it, um, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. We are, um, we're doing this thing. We're, we're growing a community here. I would just love for you to be a part of it. So anyways, hey, Blake Davis signing off. We'll see you next time. Cause if we just smile, we can forget all of our troubles for a while. We can just live inside.